The Shivalich volcano on Russia's far eastern Kamchatka Peninsula has spewed an ash plume of up to 15 kilometers into the sky. So what are the risks of volcanic eruptions for aircraft? While an eruption releases a large cloud of ash, which aircraft is warned not to fly through or near, we found out why. Uh, when you fly through an ash plume, you ingest that ash and it melts. Uh, it gets so hot that it actually becomes a, a liquid. And then it can accumulate in the cooler part of the jet engine. And that accumulation can cause it to, to block up the engine and block it. And if the engine fails, then the plane starts to, to fall out of the sky. Dozens of incidences related to ash clouds have already been recorded. Damage and serious breakdowns, but no fatal accidents so far. The airline industry relies on satellite data to avoid ash clouds. There's been a real revolution in our ability to, to do Earth observation from space in the last two decades. In particular, the European Space Agency has done a really good job of producing these, a new um, group, a new team of, of satellites called Sentinel. And these have opened up a lot more opportunities for how we can do volcano monitoring from space. The eruption of Eyjafjallajökull Fiadla Jokerd in Iceland in 2010 will go down in the annals of civil aviation. The air clouds paralyzed European air traffic. Tens of thousands of flights were cancelled.